Hello, y'all. This is not a true cooking video, but I'm just going to show you guys what I'm making today. Um, I'm going to actually, finally, I went and got a new crock pot. It is a Hamilton Beach. It's not exactly the one that I wanted because the old one that I had, the cord got fried on it, but I had it for like 10 years. Sorry for the extreme close up in the oily skin, but it is what it is. Um, this one has, it's brand new. I just got it out of the box, as you can see right back there by my recycle bin. <laughs> so this is what model it is. Uh, let's go to the English side, Jen. It is basically this Hamilton Beach slow cooker right here. Let's see if I can get the glare off of it. Um, it was like, um, let me think for a second. Get your hand away from the camera, you amateur. It was about um, $29.99 at Walmart. Oh, and then I fall. Uh, the one that I actually wanted was um, similar to my old one. This is an eight quart. My old one was a six quart. Uh, this one is supposed to serve up to 10 people. I don't go by that because it depends on how much the people are eating. Uh, but this is just for us and it does have the off, keep warm, low and high. Those are your basic settings. Herein lies the problem. My old one, you used to be able to, my hair just came loose again. I just tied it in a knot because I lost my hair tie back there on the last video, which I haven't uploaded yet. Um, my old one, basically you could set it and go kind of thing. Like say in the morning, you throw your veggies and your meat in there and then you just put it on eight hours and you go, it would automatically at end of eight hours, it would switch itself over to warm. Nothing fancy. It was an old rival one. Um, crock pot. Like I said, I had it for like 10 years. Walmart didn't carry it anymore. Not when I was there anyway. So I had to go with the Hamilton beach. Uh, everything else they had was pressure cookers. You can make the roast meals and all that in there, but I didn't want a pressure cooker. I wanted what I had. And the only one that did that uh, was not on the shelf. It was also a Hamilton Beach. It would switch it over to warm, or actually you could do digital settings. And you could put like how many hours, so you could put four hours or two hours or eight hours, and then add on that you want it to go to keep warm. That would have been perfect. And that one was also going to be um, $39.99. Let me think. Is this $29.99? They were both the same price. But anyway, um, conveniently, their scanners said they had five of them in the back, and all the employees refused to go back there and go get them out. Secondarily to that, I have a complaint. I'll do another video on this because I have had such bad sciatic pain that I can only walk so long in the store before I'm sweating like crazy. Gotta change the air conditioning. Here it looks jacked up. Before I need to sit down somewhere or use one of those carts. You know the electric ones and um, not one time since I have gone to these Walmarts yeah that's my gray hair under there not one time have they had any of the carts actually work lately or function I'm talking six or eight of them in one store where's the repair guy why are they even out that isn't that an ADA violation anyway I digress um, so I'm gonna try this one out for the first time today sorry I'm lighting is what are you doing yeah, hi, welcome. I don't know what's going on with this phone. Still figuring it out. So, take these off for a second. Anyway, um, I'm going to try it out. I started to put <laughs> meat in there, and then I thought, hey, you know what? Why not? Let's do a little quick product review slash... <laughs> Jen can't get her crap together, that part too. Um, so anyway, it's not really a cooking video, but this is what I'm going to test out in it. I'm, I'm keeping it. It's not like it's going anywhere. Um, but I just hate the fact that it won't switch to warm automatically, which means I'm going to have to be home or someone has to be home at the end of whenever the cooking time is to switch it over to keep warm physically, manually. I don't like that because what if something happens and you get overtime at work or, you know, you're late and, you know, you can't get there in time and you're going to burn your food or maybe burn your house down. Most unfortunate. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but... It is what it is. I'm going to work with it. I'm going to keep it because worst case, I'll go back and buy the other one later because when I do catering, I like to put food out in lots of crock pots rather than using those aluminum pans with the little burros underneath of them. So, um, 
yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm gonna use this one. It's a McCormick slow cooker meal. They have many of these. I'm using the savory uh, pot roast, which you can't read this backwards, so I'm gonna have to tilt a little, y'all. It, um, you basically need uh, one package of seasoning. Sorry, it's drink close up. Come on, Jen. I haven't filmed in a while, you guys. Um, and two and a half to three pounds of boneless chuck roast or rump roast. <laughs> and then you trim off uh, most of the fat. No. And you want it to be boneless because trust me, you don't want to have to deal with that later. Um, and then it says uh, five cups of cut up fresh vegetables. They suggest carrots, celery, onions, and potatoes. Uh, I'll show you what I have in a second. And uh, then you just need one cup of water. So basically you're gonna put the meat in there, the veggies in there. You're gonna combine the seasoning packet with the one cup of water. And you're going to pour it over the roast and the vegetables in there, in your crock pot, slow cooker. And you're gonna cover it and set your time. I'm gonna do eight hours. It says cook eight hours on low or four hours on high. So basically that's what they equate to when you do eight hours or four hours. My other one had six hours also, but I always try to do eight hours. Like I'll cook it overnight if I have to, um, or I'll just start in the morning, like I said, and it's ready by dinner time. So I'm gonna do the eight hours. So right now it's 9.30 in the morning here in Florida. It is sunny today instead of raining like my last video. And um, that way it'll be done by 5.30 tonight. Well, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to throw all the stuff in here, but I'm sweating like a fiend, y'all. I apologize. And your girl is rocking on some extra weight right now. I'm like a buck fifty. So I gained like eight pounds. Which isn't much, but it seems like it all went to my fish. <laughs> and I'm waiting on these caterpillars to grow back. Because I overly trimmed them recently. Well, a while ago. I hate the hair in the front driving me nuts this part. Because I didn't slick it down. If you see my last video, well, you'll see the next video. Because it'll get posted before this one. Um, and that one will explain the pasting of the hair right here. So anyway, here is my beautiful roast. It is a chuck roast. Ignore all that junk on the counter. It's just where we store all my stuff. These are all protein powders and things and the NT hubs eating cereals and all that. Anyway, eh, pardon the hand. So this is my boneless uh, chuck roast. It's a big heavy duty 2.73 pounder. It's the biggest one that they had um, at the store. At, um, went and did, uh, at Walmart and it was about $17 and something. I don't, I have the wrapper over here, but you know, it's kind of nasty in here. I hate digging in here. It is, uh, it was $17 and 73 cents. So not the worst, but again, this is going to make a really big meal. That's definitely feeding a family of at least five, six, seven, says up to 10. Uh, when you put enough vegetables in there with that much meat, you'll be able to feed a good amount of people. So, not for a pot even, I'm just saying. So, for my veggies, I'm going to trim this fat off of here. And there's actually not a lot on there, if I can turn it. I hate to play with dead meat and then touch other things. Um, there's very little fat. I mean, this, there's no bones. That's actually a piece of fat. But some of that I'm going to leave because it's going to give some extra flavor. Um, this part right here, I might trim just a smidge, but really there's not much for me to trim, you guys. I don't like to play with dead meat, dead animals, but it is a part of cooking with a slow cooker. Sorry, I gotta wash my hands. I'm very fanatical about washing my hands all the time while I'm cooking. Okay, so for my veggies, I have veggies, because I can't speak, veggies. I have one sweet Vidalia onion. So I'm gonna chop this joker up and throw it in that pot. And, oh, I almost broke my glass cutting board that's down here. And then I am going to go with the Klondike Gourmet, which these are by Green Giant, apparently. Turn around, Jen, so they can see it. Take the bag the right way. Um, I usually use the Honey Gold potatoes. They're small, so you don't really have to cut them up too much. Um, and they're yellow type potatoes, but they're very... I don't want to say sweet, but they just have a really good flavor to them, especially for pot roast and pub roast and things like that. Right, let's see if I can show it to you through the bag. The honey gold ones are smaller, but that's about the size of one right there. They're not very big at all. So I'm just going to probably like maybe quarter those. So I'll half and half. 
Um, so they'll be end up being chunks. You could leave them whole like that or just put them in half. That would be fine, but I just like to have them a little smaller. So that way you don't end up with somebody like scooping out meat and all the potatoes and one person gets a bunch of potatoes and another person gets one potato and then there's none left. So that's just my personal preference. And look at this fridge, y'all. I have so many meals planned. It's not even funny. Look at this freezer, y'all. It's screaming. I have so many meals down here planned. Uh, that's mainly because T Hubs and I are foodies, and uh, I'm me more so than him. But uh, and then we got all our healthy protein powders lined up back there. So uh, moving on, this is turning into a cooking video. I don't mind though. I haven't done one in a while. I tried to get a laptop the other day because I really do want to edit the channel and update it and change, you know, make everything into playlists like other people have so it's easier for you guys just to go to fertility videos if that's what you want, pets videos or daily vlogs or cooking videos. But the laptop prices were insane, you guys, at Best Buy. I mean, I had the money from the stimulus check thing, but I was not about to drop 1500 on a computer that had a little 14-inch screen. And I want a laptop, I don't want a tablet. Um, I like to type, and editing is much easier for me on the on a laptop, and my screen has gone totally blank. So I might be able to get it fixed, and I might take it to buy the shop and see if the guy, how, what he's gonna charge to fix that, because I'll just go back and edit on that bad boy. It's old, it's beat up, but it works. That one's a Dell. Um, and then some of the bigger laptops that are the same size as my Dell, with maybe like a, I don't know, 16 inch screen maybe? Maybe a, up close to an 18. Those things were $3,500. What? Okay, I went and sat in the home theater system and looked at a 65-inch TV and a 70-inch TV. Beautiful. I felt like I could reach in there 3D. Those were only $3,500. Why in the hell would I pay that much for a laptop? Moving on. Aggravating couple of weeks, you guys. So I bought this big old bag of carrots. Baby cut carrots. I don't know how baby cut that is. And just for y'all that don't know, no such thing as a baby carrot. Well, yeah, when they're in the ground. Baby cut carrots are just carrots that they have shaved down from full-size carrots. Nothing wrong with that. Just saying. A little food for that. So I don't, I'm not going to use all these carrots. It does have a Ziploc bag at the top, or a zip at the top. So I'm just going to probably use maybe half of these. I kind of figure it out as I go. They say five cups of veggies. I'm not really picky about it. I mean, worst case, I'll break out another packet of the slow cooker seasoning and put a little bit of extra with, you know, a little more water. That way you make sure your seasonings don't all get drowned out by the, the water from the meat juices and from the, the veggies juices. So I'm going to throw those in there and I probably will cut those up a little bit too because these are not the teeny tiny baby carrots. If you can see they're darn near, hurt near as big as my thumb. So I'll probably just cut those into maybe little chunks like yay so just like the potatoes and uh that's where i'm at the onions i'm just gonna i actually have some chopped up diced onions in there but i'm gonna actually try to kind of make slivers and put them in there and not too big you know just maybe short slivers and that's the plan for the day the meal up for the dinner and then what i'm gonna do with it i don't really need a side item i probably will make some white rice to go with it because I'm just a fan. I like to eat my pot roast and my veggies and stuff over white rice. I'm just, that's just my thing. And um, here's my other thing. Onion rolls. Mmm, they smell so good. These are like um, the sweet onions on top. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're kind of purplish colored. And um, they're on kind of like Kaiser rolls. They call them onion rolls, but... Not so cheap over here at Publix, but I just did it spur of the moment because I'm going to actually chop these into maybe like four because I'm laying out a family platter here, you know, for them to everybody to come get your serving and serve yourself. And I'm going to cut these up probably in half or in quarters because there's only four of them and there's three adult. Well, my son probably won't eat. So it'll be me, T-Hubs, and Mom that'll eat it. Um, and then uh, that'll give us something to sop up our extra juicage with it's just a little side bread so anyway that's what the plan of the day is and uh don't fall i'm not doing the celery because i just i don't i didn't think about it and honestly it doesn't really affect the taste in my opinion um as far as i've made it i always leave the celery out i just don't think about it so i will uh come back and finish this video when 
all is said and done, or at least halfway through, and let you guys see what it looks like in the slow cooker, but so far, we're on our way. Alrighty, just stopping for a quick update. There is my cup of water that I am allowing my seasonings from that McCormick pack to sit in. I have chopped up my little potatoes and um, had a couple of them that had some bad spots, so I tossed those out there and that bag soon to be trash right there. Had more carrots than I needed, so I did half most of them. I still have this section here to do. And it's about equal. I just wanted the carrots and the potatoes to kind of be equal. Didn't have as many potatoes as I thought, so that's why I took them down to, I don't know what you'd describe it as, kind of like uh, little chunks. Carrots, I only put them in half, so from this right here, I would just cut those in half. And I've got this big old begonion over here, and I'm only probably going to put maybe two-thirds of that in there. I'll have to see once I get the slivers going. But over here on the other side of the world, the meat has been trimmed up nicely. And uh, basically, I'm just going to dump all the vegetables in there. That's my recycle bin, guys. Just so you know, for those who aren't familiar. I don't think I have just junk laying everywhere. And uh, so once I chop the onions, I'm just going to dump all this into the crock pot. And Bob's your uncle, pretty much from there. We're good to go. Alright everybody, quick update. I have just gotten done chopping everything. It did come to exactly with those potatoes, the amount of carrots I showed you, and then I put half of that onion in there. Let me get back over here. Uh, I only used half of that big old onion. And here is the seasonings. Mom just tried to duck in the kitchen, didn't realize I was still filming. I'm just going to stir it up because it's got the seasoning settling on the bottom down here. It smells lovely. Um, actually, since I have the exact amount, I'm not going to use a second seasoning packet. And we have just enough meat, so here we go. Basically just says pour it over the top of the meat and the vegetables. Like so. Get out of the cup. And basically I've got my crock pot already set to high, which is going to be for 8 hours. And it's a lot later than when I told you I was going to put this lid on. Mainly because, sorry, mainly because I have spent the last, probably got my hand in front of the camera, amateur, mainly because I spent uh, the last time that I was, well, the time that I was cutting, I was also putting up two videos, one with the Florida Sunshine State, and I just put one up with multiple topic vlog updates. Check out the HPT picture at the end. Anyway, um, got lots of topics in between, and that's just going to go for eight hours so from now I'm blinding myself with this light hopefully you can see me it is 1128 now I can tell you I've cooked this many times before eight hours that sucker's falling apart but even at six hours on high it's gonna be pretty much ready to eat so I'm not concerned about it we'll still be able to have dinner around six o'clock so uh, and I have a chiropractor appointment at six so um, I won't be eating till probably when we get back, it'll be about 6.45, maybe almost 7. And I don't know what time T-Hubs is getting off work. He went in this morning at 7. At, sometimes they work until 7 at night. So if he gets here before me, he is more than welcome to eat. And then I will choke him later. <laughs> Just kidding. Not so much. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to include one more clip after this that's going to show you guys a finished plated product so this video won't be put up until later tonight when i can actually make a nice plated picture for you guys love you so quick little insertion here it just occurred to me when i went out in there and stirred the veggies and you know put those meat the sauce back over the top of them all they looked like they were you know cooking a little quickly Mayhaps it's because Jennifer wasn't supposed to put it on high for eight hours. <laughs> Luckily, it's only been uh, about three hours. So no doubt that it'll be done by uh, six o'clock for dinner, maybe sooner. I did change it to low, but I got to go back out there and make sure I put didn't just dehydrate all my juices out of there. Otherwise, I got to put some more water and seasonings in there. The brain is not waking right today. That coffee wasn't getting it, and I really don't want to have any more. Because it's been a heck of a day.
this background crapola. Legal crapola. I hate attorneys. Especially when you got divorced from somebody years ago. Why am I still having to deal with his drama? Hmm. Moving on. <laughs>